Okay, so in this video, we will cover long division. This is a technique, if you remember, used to divide polynomials. So suppose that we consider as our first example dividing x cubed minus 1 by x minus 1. Now here's how you would write the long division if you went to a French high school. So we would simply say we want to divide x cubed minus 1 by x minus 1. And so we ask, and always when you write your two polynomials, that you write them from the largest power of x to the smallest power of x, so always in decreasing order of powers. And we ask, what times x will give us x cubed? The answer is x squared. Now we multiply the entire polynomial by x squared, and we get x cubed, x squared minus 1, minus x squared. And now we simply subtract these two polynomials. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. Be careful here that we get negative, so these two cancel. We get a negative, negative x squared, so it gives us positive x squared. And we have a negative 1 minus, there's no constant term, so it's just negative 1. As long as the degree, the largest power of x that shows up here, is equal to or larger than the largest power of x here, we have to keep going, and we repeat. We ask what times x will give us x squared. The answer is x, so we say plus x. We multiply all of x minus 1 by x. We get x squared minus x, and as before we subtract, x squared minus itself gives us 0. Negative negative x is positive x. Negative 1 minus 0, negative 1. The degree here is 1. The degree here is 1. We have to keep going. One extra step. What times x gives us x? The answer is 1. 1 times x minus 1, x minus 1. And we get 0. This is our remainder. And this is the sign that the long division is over. And what's the conclusion here? Well, this implies that the polynomial x cubed minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. There is no remainder as it is equal to 0. Usually we denote this by r of x, the remainder. And you can check, right? This is very easy. Multiply out x minus 1 with x squared plus x plus 1, and you will get x cubed minus 1. Now let's see how you would have written this down if you went to now an English high school. You'll see the steps are all the same, except we simply write things in a slightly different order. We will write, we want to divide x cubed minus 1 by x minus 1. So we simply write the two polynomials in the opposite order, and we'll write this one on top. So we begin. What times x is x cubed? x squared. Multiply out by x squared, we get x cubed minus x squared. We subtract. These cancel as before we get negative negative x squared, so positive x squared minus 1. And we repeat. What times x is x squared plus x? So x times x minus 1, x squared minus x. We subtract. The x squared cancel. Negative negative x is positive x, and a leftover of minus 1. We repeat, 1 times x is x, plus 1. 1 times x minus 1, x minus 1. We subtract, and we have a remainder now of 0. And as we have seen before, indeed, the polynomial x minus 1 does divide x cubed minus 1 because it is a factor of x cubed minus 1. And so we have the same conclusion. The polynomial x cubed minus 1 
is x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And that's it. This is long division when we are dividing a polynomial by another one that is actually a factor of the polynomial, in which case we have a zero remainder. Let's do one more example of the zero remainder, and then we'll do another example where the remainder is non-zero. So what if we want to divide, say, 2x cubed minus, say, x squared plus x plus 4, I see. And we'll divide this by x plus 1 now. Let's see. Now, I'll write the long division as if you went to an English high school. If you're more comfortable, you can always feel free to write your long division the way you learned from a French high school. So now we're trying to divide 2x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 4 by the linear polynomial x plus 1. So let's see what happens. What times x is 2x cubed? Well, 2x squared. Multiply out, we get 2x cubed plus 2x squared we subtract, these two cancel, we get negative x squared, negative 2x squared, negative 3x squared, and we have a leftover x plus 4. The degree here is 2, the degree here is 1, and so we repeat. What times x is negative 3x squared? Negative 3x, we multiply out, negative 3x squared, negative 3x. We subtract. These two will cancel. Here be careful, x minus negative 3x will give us plus 3x, so 4x plus 4. The degree here is 1, the degree here is also 1, so we have to repeat. Plus, what times x is 4x plus 4? 4 times x plus 1, 4x plus 4. We subtract, and now we have 0. It is our remainder, which implies once again that x plus 1 divides 2x, uh, 2x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 4, and the other factor is 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. And this is our conclusion. the original cubic polynomial, 2x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 4 factors as x plus 1 times this quadratic polynomial, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4, of course plus the remainder, but as the remainder is 0, there's nothing. And once again, this is very easy to verify simply multiply out x plus 1 by this quadratic and you will arrive at the original cubic polynomial. Let's do one example where the remainder is non-zero and so there will be something extra that needs to be added here. Let's take a degree four polynomial. Let's start with simply a degree three. Let's go with three x cubed minus five x plus one and we'll divide this by let's take a linear polynomial. Let's go with x minus seven. 
I will write the long division here if you went to a French high school. So if you went to an English high school, you can write it backwards. So now here we would say we want to divide 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 by x minus 7. So what times x will give us 3x squared? Obviously 3x. Multiply out by 3x, we will get 3x squared minus 21x. We subtract. These two cancel. Negative 5x, negative negative 21, that's plus 21. So 21 minus 5 is 16. We get 16x plus a leftover of 1. And we repeat. The degree here is 1, the degree here is 1. There's one more step, plus what times x is 16x, well, quite simply, plus 16. Multiply out by 16, we'll get 16x, minus 7 times 16, well, let's see. 6 times 7, 42. 7 times 10, 70. So we get 112. So minus 112. We subtract. These two cancel. And here be careful, 1 minus negative 112, so it's 113. The degree here is 0, as there is no more power of x. The degree here is 1, and so we are done our long division. This is now our remainder. And let's write our conclusion. So the original polynomial, 3x squared minus 5x plus 1, will be equal to x minus 7 times 3x plus 16. And here there is a remainder, plus our remainder, which happens to be 113. Before, this term wasn't there in the previous two examples, as the remainder was 0. Let's do one more example, where we'll take a cubic polynomial, and we'll divide by a quadratic polynomial. So let's go with 2x cubed plus x squared plus 3x minus 1. And we'll divide this by, say, x squared plus 2x plus 5. I'll write this one out using the Notation from English high school, if you went to a French high school, as always, feel free to write it in the form that you're used to. So we're going to divide this cubic polynomial by this quadratic polynomial, x squared plus 2x plus 5. And so we start. What times x squared is 2x cubed? Well, 2x. Multiply out by 2x, we will get 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 10x. We subtract. These two cancel. x squared minus 4x squared negative 3x squared, 3x minus 10x, negative 7x, negative 1 minus 0, negative 1. Are we done? Well, the degree here is 2, the degree here is still 2, so they're equal. We have to keep going. Remember that we're done the long division. 
once the degree of the remainder is strictly smaller than the degree of the polynomial we're dividing by. So we keep going. What times x squared is negative 3x squared? Well, negative 3. We multiply out negative 3x squared, negative 6x, negative 15. We subtract. These two cancel. Negative 7x, negative negative 6x will give us positive 6x minus 7x, negative x. Negative 1, negative negative 15 is positive 15 minus 1, positive 14. And now if you notice the degree here is 1, which is less than 2, and so we are done with the long division. This is our remainder, and now we can write the result of our long division. Our conclusion is that the original cubic polynomial, 2x cubed plus x squared plus 3x minus 1, will equal x squared plus 2x plus 5, times 2x minus 3, plus our remainder, which is negative x, positive 14. And that's it. This is long division.